A. Riley J. 2A here. Okay, back with another video. So, today we're going to be talking about an incredibly terrible bill, um, which is HR 80, 8051. Okay. So, okay, just to give you an idea of how bad this bill is, I'm just going to read. Uh, the introduction to this bill, okay? HR 8051 to amend the Internal Revenue Code of 1986 to impose an additional 1,000% excise tax on the sale of large capacity ammunition feeding devices and semi automatic assault weapons and for other purposes. Okay, now I should tell you pretty much everything you need to know. This is super bad, um, you know, extremely unconstitutional. These items are in common use, so yes, it violates Bruin. Um, not a good bill, okay. So, you know, you might be asking... Okay, you know, what is a large capacity ammunition feeding device? What is a semi-automatic assault weapon? Okay, well, it pretty much uses the same definitions as H.R. 1808, which is the assault weapons ban of 2022. So this would, you know, this would impose that 1000% tax on top of the taxes you would already pay for, um, you know, so-called assault weapons, which, you know, under H.R. 1808 is pretty much all semi-automatic rifles. Um, pretty much, you know, or many semi-automatic shotguns. And many semi-automatic handguns, okay? And all magazines holding more than 10 rounds. So, pretty much everything that people use in this country for defense would be targeted under this bill. Would have a 1,000% additional tax on top of taxes you'd already be paying. So, you know, the thought process is, oh, well, if we can't ban these items, we can tax them out of availability. And that's exactly what this would do. Nobody can afford a 1,000% tax on something that already costs, I don't know, let's say $1,000, you know, for a mid-level AR or something. Nobody can afford, nobody can afford that simply. So... Clearly, very bad bill. Um, and now this bill comes from Representative Dan Bayer out of Virginia. It's co-sponsored by many uh, other representatives. And now the reason I'm talking about this today, because now this, this bill, you know, this came out a while ago. This, this didn't just come out. Um, this was written up a while ago. But when I first heard about it, I was like, ah, I don't, I'm not worried about it. Um, as I looked into it further and I heard more about it, um, this actually has a, a chance of passing. Okay. I talked earlier about the assault weapons ban of 2022 and, you know, that, that probably won't pass because, you know, that is banning items and therefore has to get past the filibuster, get 60 votes in the Senate, probably not going to happen. Therefore, that bill is more than likely dead in the Senate. However, this bill, because it isn't banning anything, this is simply deals with taxation. This could be passed through the Senate with a simple majority vote, Okay. In the Senate currently, the makeup is 50-50 split between Democrats and Republicans. So if Democrats and Republicans voted down party lines, 
the tiebreaker would be Vice President Harris, okay? If you think she wouldn't put this bill through, um, you're simply mistaken, okay? The Biden administration would love to see something like this go into effect. So, like I said, very bad bill with a chance of passing, more of a chance than the assault weapons ban of 2022. That's why I think we all need to make ourselves aware of this bill and where it sits and keep our eyes on this one close because, you know, it, it'll, it'll get you, right? This, this is not a good, not a good one at all. So, um, currently this bill is, has been introduced in the house. It has not made it through the house yet. So it hasn't went any further than that. However, the Democrats have the majority in the House. So this is very likely to pass through the House. From there, it would go to the Senate, where it could pass. However, there are ways that it could be stopped in the Senate. So, you know, that is what we can hope for. And uh, there are things we can do as well to you know, stop this bill, we can reach out to our representatives, you know, urge them not to support this bill. Um, though that's a very good means, you know, of, of trying to stop this bill. Uh, you know, I just wanted to come on here. I want to talk about this bill, let you know what it would do, how bad it is, and that we all should be aware of this bill and keeping a close eye on it because it's not good, okay? So... You know, this is worse than the assault weapons ban of 2022 because it has more chance of passing than that bill. Okay, so we, like I said, we all got to be aware of it. Uh, that's going to be it for me today. I just want to come on here, make everyone aware of this bill. Not a good one. Okay, that's going to be it for me. Goodbye.